Roland, do you want to add anything on, on catalase? That was actually a question that we had a few questions from now, but Jeff really just touched on it there. Is there anything else? Because it's it's in Lumbro design like we were talking about, but it also should we have it as, a, as an additional augmenting ingredient in uh, Sarazyme, Natozyme, um, you know, really all these uh, uh, systemic enzyme products we're talking about. Yeah, it's also in um, USAM, which is combined with superoxide dismutase. So biochemically speaking, um, catalase is probably the most powerful intracellular antioxidant enzyme there is. It's, um, you know, in my head, I see like something with like 10 arms fighting off thousands of people at the same time is one thing. Catalase can very powerfully inactivate hydrogen peroxide and convert it into something that's harmlessly, you know, secreted as water, or it can help to be an intermediary um, after superoxide dismutase is acted upon a free radical and then pass that to glutathione peroxidase. So the body prevents itself from overly rusting. When I talk about the concept of oxidative stress, um, you basically have renegade oxygen interacting with things too aggressively. And so the body doesn't essentially screw itself up by creating an imbalance in the environment inside of the cell, a, a to a, an oxidized scenario. Our intracellular antioxidant enzymes are supposed to be able to be there and neutralize whatever comes in. What's a problem nowadays? Well, we live in a world where oxidative stress is at an all-time high. The food we eat is laced with various, you know, compounds of industrial farming, the water we drink is not necessarily the cleanest, the air we breathe, especially if you, if you live in a city center, is quite toxic. All of these things that we ingest can be experienced as antioxidant stresses. And if we don't have enough of these antioxidant enzymes, we run the risk of becoming too oxidized, which compromises the body's ability to keep metabolism strong, which compromises the ability to make energy and when we start to injure ourselves as a result of poor lifestyle, if we don't have the energy to heal, that's the process of the initiation of degenerative diseases and conditions. So if we don't make the necessary antioxidant enzymes because we're undernourished, vitamin, mineral, protein deficient, supplementing them, especially under conditions of already high levels of oxidative stress with diseases, is a strategy to help the person get out of a crisis so they can start the healing process and other aspects of what you may be using as treatment can become more effective because if you can't deal with the inflammation, you can't turn the immune system off, you can't resolve the problem. And, and catalase is found in most any organism that utilizes oxygen. Yeah, so it, it, it's, it's that ubiquitous in nature. But just to give you an example of how powerful enzymes can be, one single unit of, of, of catalase can break down a million molecules of hydrogen peroxide in one second. Yeah, that's that ubiquitous multiple arm fighting all these different bad guys simultaneously. It's incredible. <laughs>